This is John Visconti. I am enthralled to bring you this deck, The Tarot of Mystical Moments by Katrin Wells Stein. This is a U.S. Games production. Here's the back of the box. It has pertinent information about the cards and the, and the artist. Um, it has a fantastic guidebook in addition to these uh, spectacular cards. Uh, here's an example of Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. You won't find any generic stuff in this guidebook. <clears throat> Katrin has gone and produced a very detailed and intricate uh, guidebook, I think. And here's a little bit of information about, uh, about Katrin. There we go. I was very excited to begin this project in 2016. Uh, as designing a tarot deck has been a long time dream of mine. Since childhood, I have been fascinated with the cards, especially about the mystique that uh, mystique they are surrounded by. My grandmother used to lay the cards uh, for clients in exchange for food shortly after World War II. But uh, Sadly, she never did readings for me when she got older. Though I never seriously studied the tarot, I have always kept my curiosity about the cards. So, very nice. Now, Catlin uh, means clean, pure, and clear. Okay? And it's connected to an ancient goddess named Hecate. Okay? I thought that was interesting. I just Googled Catlin because it's rather an unusual name, and I uh, <coughs> I had to check it out. Uh, anyways, uh, the card stock is very good, I think. It is glossy, but they don't stick together, and it's, it's quite a bit bigger than a standard tarot card, as you can see. So it's real pretty on the thick side. Very, very nice uh, stock, though. Here's the back of the card. Rather subdued. But nice back. Uh, well, let's get into it. Uh, you'll see in this artwork here, it borders on surreal uh, in the collage work. And I love surreal decks. So we have our full. Okay. Next we have Magician. You'll see a lot of females in this deck. This is the uh, second edition. And in this deck, uh, Katrin has introduced five additional cards, the male counterparts for, for example, the Emperor. Oh, okay, here we have the High Priestess. I love her artistry here. We have water down here and a sailing ship. We have red curtains and we have a sky in the background. Really appeals to me. Hey, okay, then we have the Empress. And we have the Emperor, and that is, I believe, a female. Yep. Look at this. Look at this. She's got, uh, I don't know, little tiny people on strings. Quite interesting. Now, here's a new card. This card was introduced in this deck. It's a male Emperor. And you can just utilize all the extra cards, all 83 cards if you want. Or you can pick and choose what uh, card you want for your uh, tarot. Okay, we have the Hierophant. I love it. It's an owl and a lady, a small lady up in a tree here. Very interesting. And here's our lover's card. Pretty cool. Bluebird and a lady. Okay, here we have the hermit. Wow, look at that. A snail carriage, I guess. And here's strength. I like these little, uh, are they horns on her head? I don't know. Very nice strength card. And here's... Uh, a Hermit card. 
lady is sitting atop a, a lighthouse, I believe, and it appears like a globe with water and ships on it. Looks like she's got a little fishing rod. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of gears in this card. Interesting. And we have Justice. Here's the Hanged Man. Hey, here we have death. Not very intimidating, but uh, it works for me. Or is a, uh, I read something on the death card. Let me see. Uh, here we go. In front of a beautiful green garden, we see a woman whose upper chest is an open ribcage, partly skeleton. She seems to be dead, but she is in fact full of life. Her body is a vessel for blooming flowers. The white lilies emerging out of her skeleton are a symbol of purity, innocence, and hope. The woman gazes at a butterfly resting on one of the lilies. A symbol of resurrection and life, the butterfly also stands for transformation, change, and hope. The card shows us that death is not the end, but the start of a powerful new beginning. <coughs> nice uh, description there. That's our death card. <coughs> Pardon me. Temperance. Okay. The devil. And the spider webs here. I believe I read in the guidebook that uh, it's deceiving. They look like you could walk through them, but you can't. You get caught. And she's on a red mushroom. Okay, that's our devil card. Here's the tower. Wow, look at that. It's on like a mountain peak here. There's a human here. Uh, larger than the tower. Spectacular card. And here's our star card. I really haven't looked at this very closely. I put the cards in a at my specific order. And uh, so each card is kind of uh, new for me to, to look at if you haven't seen them already. Okay, here we have the moon. Octopus here coming out of the bottom of the lady here. Hmm. Tentacles. Okay, here we have the sun. This is an extremely popular deck, and um, a lot of people have acquired this. Okay, here we have Judgment. She creates figures in cities, old towns and cities. And uh, the, um, uh, the size of the human is often larger than the buildings and so forth. And here's our world card, wrapping up the majors. Interesting. Hey, moving on to wands. This is our ace. Nice flower up here. And here's the two of wands. And here's the three of wands. Hmm. There's buildings down here. There's a very tall female standing with a, this huge braid coming off of her head. And she holds a little ship. That is just too cool. I really like this deck. I don't know why I didn't buy it years ago. I don't know. But I finally acquired it. And I'm so happy to have it. Okay, the four of wands... And here's the five. It's like uh, chess figures here on a large board. And there's a human there uh, making her moves, I guess. 
And here's the uh, six of wands. I love how she incorporates uh, figures on birds and interact with other animals. It's really something. Okay, and here is the seven of wands. Uh, she has a lot of surreal qualities in her artwork. Oh, what I did is I have some surreal figures here by Hieronymus Bosch. Okay, and these are taken from his paintings, and they create 3D models of these figures. So they're all surreal. And so I thought I'd set them up like that to complement her cards. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands. Okay, and here's the Nine. Okay, here's the 10. And here's the page. I love this bird. Very interesting with a magnifying glass there. I love it. And here's the Knight of Wands. Leaping through a ring of fire. And we have our queen. Very beautiful queen. And here we have the king. A female king. And next is an additional card. It's a male king coming up. This is with this revision. Okay, here's our King of Wands. You can, um, there's an extra emperor card and four kings. And you can take out what you want and keep what you want, or you can use the whole deck. So there's our traditional male King of Wands. Here's the Ace of Cups. Wow. And here's a famous card, which is on the box. Okay. The Two of Cups. Very nice. Here's our Three of Cups. And here's our Four. <laughs> the bird is holding the umbrella. That's pretty cool. Hey, here's the five. Interesting. Hey, here's the six of cups. And here we go with the seven. Okay, the Eight of Cups. Ladybug, I don't know if that's a tire or, or she's just half Ladybug, I'm not sure. Love the swans. Love the uh, stone bridge here. Butterflies up here. Very cool. Okay, now we have the Nine of Cups. Check out that headdress there, the flowers. Wow. Okay, now we have the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Got above water and below. Huh. Looks like seaweed or something on the left. And a um, uh, fish bite on the right. And nice to incorporate uh, different animals and features onto these, uh, onto these uh, figures. Okay, here we have the Page of Cups. Hmm. I, like the, I like the expression on her face. Okay, and here we have the Knight of Cups. Like the flower here. She's riding atop the flower in water. And here's the Queen. And 
And here's the King of Cups, the female king. Holding a little ship. Wow. Of course, everything's connected in the uh, spirit world. All is one. Everything's connected uh, in the physicality of the uh, earth life, including people are all connected, and uh, and we're connected with the earth and animals and, and vegetation and everything. It's all connected. Okay, here's our male counterpart, the King of Cups. He's holding a ship. And here's the Ace of Pentacles. And here's the two. But when you're incarnated in the uh, Earth world, you don't realize uh, how everything's connected. That's why there's so much division and hostility. Because we're on these journeys to experience... Uh, an earth incarnation, and then we compare that limiting incarnation, including uh, hate and negativity, and we compare it with the spirit world, which is uh, much, much more loving, and it's really an easier uh, life than the earth life. But uh, anyways, well, here's the three of pentacles. I don't mean to get carried away in my philosophy. Uh, anyways, the four of pentacles... There's so much decisiveness, uh, so much uh, uh, separation, you know, and uh, on the earth plane. Uh, but, well, it is, it's a reason for that. So you can compare it to the uh, less limiting spirit world, appreciate the spirit world. Okay, here's the five of pentacles. And here's the six. Here's our seven. And here's the eight. Wow, look at that. Large butterfly. And there's something. Oh, that's part of the butterfly. Okay. Nice foliage here and background here with more butterflies. Very interesting. And here's the nine of pentacles. Very creative artwork. Okay, here we have the 10. And here's the page. Our knight. Look at that. The horse is comprised of vegetation. Interesting. Okay, now we have the uh, queen. And here's our female king. And here's the male counterpart, the king of pentacles. Hey, we're moving on to uh, swords here. This is our ace. And the two swords. And here's our three of swords. Three arrows uh, going into a gentleman's chest here. Hmm. Okay, and then we have the four of swords. I love this card. Lying on a uh, moon here. Okay, now we have the five. Here's the six of swords. No boat is visible that I can see. Some little tiny boats here in the foreground, I guess. Maybe. Hey, here's the seven of swords. But... Catherine just ties everything together. What I was saying about oneness, everything's connected. She ties in humans with 
uh, vegetation, with the earth, and with animals. It's quite, uh, quite uh, inventive. Seven of Swords. Here's our Eight of Swords. A semi bird and human figure here inside of a bird cage. And here we have the Nine of Swords. Wow, look at all these eyes on her. Wow. Huh, okay. And then we have the Ten of Swords. I don't know if they're hairpins or what they are, but uh, they're in to her hair, which is quite elaborate. Hey, here's our Page of Swords. Interesting. Here's our Knight. Here's the Queen of Swords. Next is our female queen. And wrapping it up is the male counterpart, King of Swords. Well, what do you think? Uh, I think it's a really nice deck. Oh, I'm going to show you the silver gilding. I forgot to show you that. Check out that silver gilding. Just gorgeous. And the cards don't stick together, even though they're glossy and gilded. For some reason, they don't stick together. So it's very, very well produced. Uh, you can almost, I could almost shave my face uh, with this gilding here on the side. But, uh, well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I do recommend this deck uh, to diversify your collection or your reading. And once again, thanks for your support. And I'll catch you on the next one.